In this video we will talk about the problem of determining an open reading frame. This is a task from your homework. So in this video we will not be talking about biology. We will use DNA as a code and this code is based on four characters A, C, G, T. And three character combinations have meaning. So here is a table of what each triplet encodes. So uh, the only thing that is important for us from uh, DNA is that uh, it um, oftenly presented in the form of two strands. And DNA has a property of complementarity. That means that uh, each symbol in one strand has a corresponding symbol in other strand. And uh, this is a rule. So A corresponds to T, C corresponds to G. Okay, now uh, suppose that we have some DNA strand and we know the direction from the beginning to the end. So in our case, we start from the left side and go to the right. And uh, to find the encoded information, let's look at all kinds of sequence, sequences of triplets. So to do it, let's look on this animation. So we can start from uh, three first symbols and go uh, uh, with step size is equal to three. So let's look on the animation. So here we start from the first triplet and go one by one through all triplets and we will get such such sequence. Also we can start from the second character or the third character and depending on this we will get different sequences. So it's our first sequence. Uh, if we start from uh, this triplet we will get the second sequence and the last one if we start from uh, this triplet ATG. Okay. At the same time, it's important for us to not forget that DNA is a double helix. That means that uh, the second strand, which are uh, com complementary for the first one, uh, can contain some information too. So to reconstruct it, we can uh, use biology properties. So for each symbol, we have some corresponding symbol and we can reconstruct it. And uh, the main uh, thing that the second DNA strand uh, bypassed in reversed direction. So here we start from the right side and go to the left one. So let's look on the second DNA strand. And uh, first of all, let's rewrite it. Now we go from the right side to the left. Let's rewrite it. And here we go from left to right. And let's repeat all steps which we performed for the first DNA strand and let's find all possible triplet sequences. Okay, now we have all possible triplet sequences for our DNA strand and for the reverse complementary two. And now our task is to find all possible uh, start triplets and stop triplets. So first of all, let's mark start triplets uh, and then let's mark all stop triplets. So here we have all uh, our stop and start triplets. And we can see that only third line can contain some information be be because uh, here we have start triplet and stop triplet and some information uh, which is inside of this uh, sequence, uh, inside start and stop pattern. And for example, the first one uh, doesn't have a start cadon. Uh, this sequence just has a stop cadon. Yeah. So now let's consider just the third one line. And now we can uh, decode this line by our table and get the final result. And result is mtprl, mgmtprl. So that's all. 